Nearly a thousand years ago, the farmers who inhabited the upper Amazon basin in South America knew that incorporating charcoal or biochar as a soil amendment would help improve soil quality and overall improve their crop production. Today, biochar is picking up more attention from soil health experts. A University of Nebraska Lincoln researcher tells us when biochar is applied to soil, it creates a much more efficient carbon storage. Market Journal's Bill Dodd has this story. Biochar is produced from waste wood and other organic materials. It can reliably increase soil organic carbon for decades without needing repeated applications. When applied to soil, about 90% of the biochar remains in the soil for more than a century, continuously locking away carbon. This could have a profound impact on cropping systems across the United States. But biochar was also shown, for example, to decrease nitrate leaching, to increase nutrient retention, to increase the pH value. So there are a couple of co-benefits that are actually um, very valuable for uh, production systems. And uh, biochar can be used in, in agricultural settings to, for example, increase uh, as well water holding capacity, so to make the systems more resource efficient. So basically needing less water and less uh, fertilizer um, keeping nitrogen in the soil, also reducing N2O emissions. So it does have a couple of uh, uh, positive co-benefits in agricultural settings. While biochar can be a good soil amendment in the arena of agricultural production, Kaiser is currently collaborating with the city of Lincoln. The Lincoln Biochar Initiative involves the city of Lincoln, UNL, Nebraska Forest Service, and other entities that also plan a biochar production plant here in Lincoln that could be operational this year. So we are closely working with the City of Lincoln Biochar Initiative. Uh, this biochar initiative is, is led by the City of Lincoln. Um, the main purpose right now is to, uh, to build an own biochar production facility and uh, the city will then use uh, urban waste to produ uh, produce biochar and to use it to improve urban soils. And we discuss the potential co-application of biochar and biosolids. So biosolids is an um, is a product coming out of uh, urban wastewater treatment, uh, which is an excellent uh, organic fertilizer. So it contains a lot of water, nitrogen, phosphorus, but a lot of organic matter. Um, because a biochar is not really a fertilizer, it's a soil conditioner. And so combining both would mean we apply biochar for calm sequestration and put biosolids in for the fertilization. But at the same time, the biochar might co-stabilize some organic carbon from the coming from the biosolids. But we also do uh, no-till and cover cropping. So it means we have biosolids, biochar, no-till and cover cropping, which are kind of four uh, individual climate smart management strategies. And we hope if we can combine it that we in the end have an um, like a management strategies for municipalities across the U.S., especially in areas with high agricultural uh, uh, intensity, that they have that they can use biochar and biosolids um, uh, to improve the sustainability of production systems in so-called agricultural rural uh, or no urban rural uh, transition zones. Although there's still a lot to learn about the addition of biochar to our soils, the potential benefits of biochar are too good to be overlooked. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.